Yo, what's up guys? Yeah, Pokeyam here with the Defog Rotom Showcase. We're going to be going over Defog Rotom. Uh, we're going to be showing off Defog Rotom, uh, just regular form, Rotom Frost, Rotom Mo, Rotom Heat, and uh, also Rotom Cut, which is Rotom Mo. What's the other one that I'm missing? Rotom Wash. Wow, I gotta forget Rotom Wash, but we will be showcasing them. I have the teams right here. Uh, we got Rotom Frost, we got uh, in the NU tier, we have Rotom Heat in the RE tier, Rotom Wash in the UU tier, uh, just regular Rotom in the NU tier, and then Rotom Cut in the NU tier as well. I do have a team with Rotom uh, Fan, but I feel like if I use it in PU, it's going to be a lot worse if I put Defog on it than what I currently have on the Scarf set. So I don't really want to showcase that because I think that's you know unnecessary. But this is the first team. Uh, if you guys missed the previous or moveset video about it, the previous upload, feel free to check it out. And also check out the playlist down below if you want to see the other showcases. You can also follow me on Twitch and Twitter if you want to as well. But Defog Rotom appreciates his team because his team has no ground type. So I'll be able to Volt Switch versus everything. And I'm faster than the Scarf, which is Passimian. Most likely a Scarf, which is Passimian. Uh, also, guys, the Friend Shirt's only available for two days and 14 hours left uh, at the time I'm recording this video. So if you guys want to pick it up, link is down below. But uh, Lycanroc's really nice in this too. I think I'm going to lead off a Garbodor because I can get up a T-Spike immediately, unless that's Silvali Poison. I can get up a T-Spike immediately, I beat Passimian, I beat Dredagon, I beat Whimsicott, and pretty much I beat everything as a lead besides Sigilyph. Yeah, there's a Passimian. I live in Earthquake for sure, and I want to get up a T-Spike here. If he takes a little bit of Rocky Helmet, uh, Volt Switch late game with Rotom will be good. Maybe I won't need a Defog anyway, but he has to go for knockoff immediately. Which Persimian does have now, which is pretty cool. And uh, I just throw off a gunk shot here, expecting something to want to come in. Not necessarily Sigilyph, but maybe a Silvali if it was Defog or even Dredagon in the week in it. Um, so I don't mind going Zatu first on a potential Psychic or Heat Wave. Yeah, I really don't mind. I'm actually double out to Sneasel. I don't. I think Zatu invites in. Well, I don't think Zatsu invites him much, but he might just go for Roost versus Zatsu itself. And I can just pursue him as he goes for Defog himself. This works too. So basically, Sigilyph is now gone. Uh, the only Pokemon on his team that wasn't able to deal with my T-Spikes. And I'm able to get rid of it right there. So the Whimsicott's going to come out. This mod is a problem, especially if it's Specs. Uh, a little bit annoying if he goes for um, Moonblast. So I can't go Zatsu. Pretty much everything on my team, nothing resisted, so we'll have to go Garbodor here. As he throws off a Moonblast. It does a bit of damage. Well, I don't want to Moonblast and again predicting the T-Spike. I'd much rather, and it looks like he is Belt. So that's a problem for me. Uh, the great thing is Dredagon does live one Moonblast from that, unless it's Twinkle Tackle. So I'll gladly take this and hopefully land my Gunk Shot. I landed one already. Let's see if we can land another one, as we do. And we're able to get rid of Whimsicott. Great. All right, so uh, that makes Sneasel's job a little bit easier for sure. Uh, Rotom also looking a little bit better as well. I don't think I mind if he gets up or he goes for U-turn. I want some more chip damage on him or if he goes for knockoff rather. I definitely want some more chip damage on him. That way I can now go out to Ligon Rock and just SD up. We'll definitely take the, uh, we'll definitely take the knockoff for sure. And now I just get a kill with my Z move. Splintered Storm Shard, you're gonna give me something? Oh, and it gives me Dredagon, great. So I'm trying to make it that I can Volt Switch through him or even Shadow Ball through him. I don't know why for some reason I'm thinking that Passimian is, uh, Passimian is what it isn't, which is a normal type. But uh, regardless of what play he makes right here, I'm actually gonna go for a Cellar Rock because that should put him in range of Shadow Ball from Rotom. So I don't mind him going for close combat at all. And Rotom can now just come out and Volt Switch if it wants to as well. I wonder what Silvali type you are. I really do wonder. What what Silvali are you? It's like it's like facing Arceus because you have no idea what type he is. But oh, it's Silvali Fire. <laughs> oh joy. A Silvali type that can actually beat my entire team, just all on its own. Quick outrage here. Flamethrower knocks me out. Um, this is really bad. I can. 
Thunderbolt doesn't make much sense. Shadow Ball is probably my best play uh, to weaken this mod. As he goes for Simeon. Alright, so he gets rid of his uh, Scarfer for me, which is nice. But then now the uh, Verizion can come in and just click uh, Content to Crush if it wants to. I'm going to Shadow Ball anyway. I think I get a Spadef Drop. If he goes for Content to Crush, it was worth for me. I have to make the Sneasel play if he goes again. If he goes for Constant Crush, it's worse for me. But I literally have to make this play. And do I knock off here? Knock off might to a KO so volley fire. I feel like if he stays in, he wins the game anyway because Silvali eats a hit from Rotom. I'm crash. I think I should go, no, I think I should go off him sh his choke, if anything, which is him going Silvali. Like, if he stays in right, I knock him out, I crash, Silvali just gets to click Flamethrower. So, maybe I should go off his choke and click Knock Off, because that way I 2 it KO Silvali. No, he's not going to choke. Yeah. Plus, it still gives me the flinch chance as well, with Sneasel. So, if I flinch him once, Sneasel is broken, you still win, bro. You can still win, my friend. Very well still win. I wasn't able to get up rocks. Okay, well, I was able to get up rocks, but I wasn't able to keep them up, so. Ooh, I need a flinch to win this. Or a pair of full pair of Rotom. You trying to do this for me? You trying to do this for me, buddy? Right, good game. That's Max Bedef Silvalli, too. Yeah, alright, so we weren't able to win the first one, fortunately, but now we shall be showing off Rotom Frost. I think that'll be a lot of fun. As well, we have SD Rhydon, uh, Scarf Delphox, Ice MZ Blizzard. Now, Rotom Frost, uh, Ice is just really good stab in general, as you saw my opponent's team right there. Had I just clicked Ice him, he didn't have an answer for it at all. Uh, even Silvali Fire, like, wouldn't appreciate it because it has no recovery. Uh, Will O S Defog, we have Wish Protect, Dazzling Gleam, Flamethrower, Mega Aldino, Hex, Will O S Recover, Taunt, Jellicent, and Bandit Sneasel. So, let's go ahead and look for a game. Like I said, I'll be showcasing multiple games, multiple tiers. Um, in this game, Default Rotom is actually really nice, so I like that a lot. Do I beat the uh, mod joint sync? Because I get rid of the hazards uh, versus him pretty easily, so we'll lead right on. I feel like SDing up is fair because it means that Rock Blast can actually beat this guy. Uh, but two Rock Blasts should actually be able to do it. Oh, not two Rock Blasts, but me clicking Rock Blast twice. As long as I get some good rolls. Yes. That's what I like to see. And he actually went for Encore too. So I can actually do it KO him. That four hit was amazing. Uh, goes right on. I can now go Jellicent, take you on. As he goes for his own Rock Blast. Good thing I didn't go to my ICM one. Uh... I'm actually worried that he's max speed. So I'm going to double out to Rotom right here. I'm worried about him just going for Earthquake. As he goes Shuckle. And we'll just go right for my Sub-Zero Slammer and knock you out. We're not going to let him get up the uh, webs versus me at all. I'd much rather get rid of Shuckle right there. So perfect. Now I have to worry about clicking Blizzard and whatnot. But at least I was able to get rid of Shuckle. I wish I would have been able to Defog versus. So Toxicro comes out, which I am faster than. I will will wisp you. Are you SD? He just goes for SD too, yeah. So I'm faster than you. And Jellison is a little bit weak, unfortunately, but I'll gladly take damage off on you. Especially because Sneasel can win in the late game. Same thing with Aldino. Aldino kind of just beats everything. Uh, there's no way he goes for Drain Punch here. I'll go Aldino first just because if I Mega, I have Regenerator anyway. And we're going to double out to Jellison, expecting a Drain Punch. As he gunk shots. I mean, good play. Uh, definitely. But, I mean, I also get to Volt Switch again. So, I, it doesn't matter if Rotom takes any damage. Though, of course, I am worried about Rhydon. Um, but, especially now that he uh, crit me right there. Uh, so, I'm definitely worried about Rhydon, for sure. Um, Sneasel doesn't allow these two to come in. Malamar kind of beats me down, too. Go Delphox, though it does allow the Malamar to come in. Which I did not like, or I don't like in particular, but I'm pretty sure it's Z. Miss Magius comes out. Directly out into Audino we go. 
because I can uh, pursue trap him with Sneasel as long as I go Audino. So um, I'll definitely just wish up right now. As he goes right on. Assuming he wants to Rock Polish, maybe. Uh, if he does, uh, either way, Delphox plus Audino checks him. So I'm going to attempt to pass this to my uh, Rotom in case he goes for Earthquake or Rocks. As he goes for Rock Blast, yeah. Smart man. However, I check him. And I do want Rocks up for Sneasel in the late game. So I'm actually going to click Rocks first before going for Earthquake. Um, oh, man. Offensive right on. I completely underestimate how much you do to me, bro. Legitimately underestimated that would be two a kill by a defensive right on. I'm not playing these games that well. Alright, let's see. Well, Grass Knot obviously deals with you, and that's probably my only play to click. Uh, even if you go Sceptile, it's always my only play right there. Uh, I couldn't let the right on come in for free. I could see him doubling. I'm actually going to click uh, get Grass Knot again. Like, I, I'm, I'm, because I'm so behind, I have to make plays. And Giga Drain is also a really smart play that my opponent can make because I couldn't, I had nothing that could take that hit. So we'll go Aldino. I do eat it up. I'll we'll double out to Delphox here. I get Regenerator back. I will double out to Delphox expecting the right on the one to come out. As he goes Malamar, which I don't think was an Aldino switching, but. <laughs> Uh, we got a double right back, and he's actually going to force me to Mega Evolve right here as he goes right on. <laughs> oh, man. It's time. Like, I got I to gotta go for my... Why is he going for that over Earthquake? Earth... You have no reason not to go for Earthquake, my friend. No reason at all. Uh, if he SDs, this is worse for me. So I'm going to click Dazzling Gleam. Going to click Dazzling Gleam for sure. As he rock polishes up, yep. This is literally my only play. And we'll wish up again. Because we do tank his hit. Nice. Uh, so I made pretty much my only play, which was going for the Dazzling Gleam there, hoping that he had to go off the... Uh, hoping that he would go off the uh, the miss. Or excuse me, the, the wish protect. Call. I do eat Malamar because I am offensive. Uh, I can fire blast spam through my opponent's team, which is really good. Are you taunt? That shouldn't matter. I'll protect right here just in case you Z me. That doesn't gleam isn't gonna do crap. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't matter if he gets to whatever plus, because I, I'm not revenge killing him with Sneasel, I'm revenge killing him with Delphox. So, because Audino wins this game, uh, basically all I need is a little bit of chip damage to put him in range of Fire Blast, and then I'll Fire Blast through his team. So, uh, we'll go Sneasel right now. Doesn't matter if he gleams, as he actually goes for Nasty Plot. <laughs> okay, sick. Uh, I mean, that's a safe knockoff for me. That'll knock him out through the Colby Berry too. As Malamar is going to come in. We're going to go for knockoff even though this is more than likely Z. Yep. And I'm actually going to keep Sneasel alive because I live... Like, Audino eats this hit up. And Sneasel can Ice Shard plus, uh, plus Psy Shock with Delphox. So I win this game. But, like, it wasn't as clean as I wanted it to be. This will definitely knock on Malamar. For sure. And, like, I win this game. But like I said, it wasn't as clean as I wanted it to be. Flamethrower here. I mean, Rotom like did his job, which was getting rid of the pretty much the only member there it had to. I can afford to click Fire Blast, but if I miss twice, it's worse for me. So I'll actually just Psy Shock into Ice Shard. Uh, though I do put him in uh, yeah, Overgrow. I have Psy Shock actually two KOs anyway, so we end up winning right there. So he made some really good plays with Rhydon. Um, they smacked me uh, around, but uh, Rotom did his job. Even though it wasn't able to defog in particular, it at least stopped Shuckle from getting up hazards. But had he got up hazards anyway, I would have been able to defog if he went Toxic Oak first, like regardless. So uh, we'll show off the Rotom Mo now in this tier. Let's go to the team real quick. We have Life Orb 3 Attack Sigilyph, Vanus Sneasel, because I mean, this Pokemon's amazing in the tier. Uh, Grass Human Z, defog. Ooh. 
Thick Fat Palace Mountain Rock Tomb and Stealth Rock, which is good for Zatu. Uh, we have Garbodor and then Scarf Emboar. So this boy got me. Looks like he wanted to get me, but Rotom destroys his team. Have fun. Hello. <laughs> this man has been watching me for a while play. Uh, so he leads off with Incineroar. Um, definitely want to chip away at him with Garbodor. I know he's going to turn out to Clawitzer, but I actually ends up going for the knockoff right there. Assuming he's going to go, if this is Assault Vest, he's going to U-turn for sure. Uh, but I want to say, assuming he's going to go Zatu, I kind of want to double out to Sneasel, but I'd rather Skunk Shot here. I don't want him Earthquaking either. There you go, Zatu. Beautiful damage, too. Why does Gunshot never poison? I'm expecting you to double out, predicting my Sneasel or Heat Wave. Yeah, this works, too. So, like, I'm going to attempt to... Uh, I pretty much just want to attempt to get him. If he U-turns here, great play. But he just roosts, so that means I get off a knockoff. I can actually go for Pursuit here, too. I'm actually going to go for Pursuit, because I'd rather get rid of this Pokemon. Even if you're Cobra Berry, like, this too, it KOs you. I take your Heat Wave. Yep. And while I did lose a Mon that's good versus you, it means I now get up Hazards. I don't mind losing this Pokemon. If I had I knocked off, it was actually better in this case, but I really don't mind losing this Mon uh, to him. I will go Emboar on the uh, Rotom form, most likely, yeah, because Rotom matches up very well versus me, just like my Rotom matches up very well versus him. Uh, we're gonna, we have to find off his Scarf, so I'm actually just going to click Flare Blitz. Alright, so he has Scarf confirmed, and my team is really weak to him clicking Leaf Storm. But he doesn't appreciate Flare Blitz, though he does have a resist, two resists. He still doesn't appreciate it. Uh, we just got to be careful that we don't lose to Scarf Leaf Storm now that I have no priority outside of Ice Shard. Goes Luxray, though. Which does not take that that well. Is it Fizz Death? I think he's going to double out to uh, Clawitzer, but I'm going to... I'm going to make the Rotom play because I can't have him doubling out to Clawitzer as he goes Ursaring. Um, this is Guts. Yep. So my Bloom Doom does knock you out, and I'm definitely going to go for it. I have to. So I knew he'd double there, and Rotom was a relatively safe play regardless of what he made. Um, and because Incinera comes out, which is looks like Guaranteed Assault Vest, uh, we can just Volt Switch here for a little bit of chip, have him knock out my Garbodor, take the damage from there, and then probably go, uh, but basically take the Recoil and the Aftermath, and then go directly into Embor right here, and click Sewer Power. Though you should sack Luxray. I'm going to double up to Pilot Spawn, I'm expecting him to sack Luxray. I want rocks, I need rocks up. You should always sack Luxray here. Yep. So I need rocks up to ensure that Incineroar only has one more switch and it can't fake out support versus me. You don't do anything to me anyway. Yeah, that, that's not going to do much. Um, I don't mind taking that as long as I have my Ice Shard, basically, just for Rotom in the back. Because I'm trying to win with my own Rotom. Uh, so we'll Earthquake here as he goes Rotom Mo. My best play is to go out to Rotom here. If he Volt switches. Great, I take less damage than what Leaf Storm would have done. And he tricks, so that means I get a, a knockout right now with the Leaf Storm. That's amazing. I'm not sure why he... <laughs> I'm not sure why he actually tricked there. I think his Scarf... In fact, it would have been better for me if he got rid of his Scarf, because I think his Scarf is the scariest thing he has currently. I think it really is the scariest thing he has currently. And thankfully, Saxon's in a roar. So we can Volt Switch on Clawitzer now. But yeah, like I said, his Scarf is the scariest thing he currently has. Um, if he goes Rotom, it's already taking two turns of Stealth Rock. I'm offensive Pile of Swine, so I'm thinking that I can actually knock him out. Ooh, that's fire. I'm going to Volt Switch here. I'll go Sigilyph for just Psychic. If he um, Wall Charges, he gets me. But I'm assuming, yeah, Super Power because it hits everything outside of Sigilyph. And Sigilyph is, you know... <laughs> Super effective damage and whatnot. So, Psy Shock should be able to knock him out after the defense drops for sure. No more Intimidate shuffling for my opponent. As Claw Witch is going to come out, we can just Energy Ball you. This is Life Orb, Magic Guard, Sheer Force. Sheer Force, woo. <laughs> Started adding some own things right there. And Rotom has to go for one move to knock me out. Uh, ends up going for Trick, which means I'm just going to be able to click Psy Shock twice and 2 a KO this Rotom right now. So Rotom putting in, Rotom showing that it's just a good Pokemon in general. Uh, 
Again, we're not really finding opportunities to defog, but we're showing what's the showcase? Rotom defog. Haven't used it once. <laughs> 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, see you later, man. Oh, you left. Alright, so I haven't used defog once, but like. Because Rotom's just so good at pressuring that defog is just pretty much uh, a last resort if you need to do it for it. But now, we're going to be playing RU. We have Toxic Immunity, Taunt Gligar with the uh, Flame Morb Machamp, uh, Spadef Milotic, Spikes, Rose Raid, Poison Barb. <laughs> Pretty fire. Uh, shout out to my boy T. Richardson, by the way, for this team. Uh, we have Fire MZ, Defog HP, Ice Rotom. I mean, you could always slash a lot of things. I talked about in the Moose Guy. And then we have Banded Zygarde. So let us uh, move up to the RU tier real quick. Show off my boy T. Richardson's team. I'm just hoping to click defog once. Uh, Rotom, he isn't the best defogger. And again, I mentioned it. Are we playing stall? Rotom, he isn't the best defogger. Unfortunately, but... It's a very solid Pokemon, nonetheless. I feel like if I just click Inferno Overdrive, I get a kill. I think I'm just going to do it. Because Sableye is a problem. Oh, nice. I think he expected will o -Wisp, so I will gladly take your Sableye from you immediately. Alright, so we just... Rotom actually breaks through his stall team completely on its own. Uh, the fact that my opponent just gave me Sableye there makes it even better for me. What would you expect? If I went for will o -Wisp, it wouldn't affect me anyway. Not quite sure what he was expecting there, but we shall Volt Switch. Guess he could have Miracote, but... Magicote? That doesn't matter. I go. Machamp is here. All right, so it looked like he had a stall team, but I'm not 100% sure now. I don't even know how many points I have, but I'm clicking close. Common. This is adamant. Choice. It's choice band essentially because I'm guts. Smart man. I wonder how much you take from a boosted knockoff. Okay, so this is the only thing on his team that actually takes Zygarde's Thousand Arrows, so I'll gladly. Uh, now I'm not so sure I want to trade this. Ah. Hey, you know what? Screw it. It's a Rotom Showcase. I'm about to defog away these li this light screen. He better not protect next turn. I want to defog away that light screen. Gyro Ball. Anchor Shot's better, bro. Let me defog away the light screen. Mother. That was the only turn I got to Showcase Rotom there. <laughs> uh, we'll Volt Switch here. Um... As he goes, Florig is great. All right, so like I expected something along those lines. Uh, the there are no rocks on this team. That Moltres might actually become an issue. Well, I mean, Rose Raid has no switchings anyway. Sludge Bomb and whatnot. I don't care if he goes Steelix. I'm actually going to spike up Blunch just because I want to put my Lodic 100% in range of uh, the Thousand Arrows. I feel like if he has Protect, he'll go for it. Just based on like, do I have no? Do I have no points in Aru? Maybe because I'm on Clickx now and not Clickx friend. Yeah, Steelix isn't really an issue to me because I do have Taunt, Toxic, Gligar, which also 1v1s his entire team. Block. Oh, yeah, no, bro, I ain't trapped here with you. You're, you're trapped here with me, bro. I'm a, I'm a Gligar. And I'm also immunity. So you are you are trapped here with me, my friend. And the fact that he showed Gyro Ball and doesn't have Anchor Shot on Delmize makes it that much easier. Uh, I'm actually going to throw off a Toxic, expecting him to switch out, yeah. And the Delmize as he does. Nice, so I'm able to land it. I don't know what attacks you're going to go for, but I don't want you doing anything. I just rabbit spins. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Um, you can't do any damage to me. In fact, that you're already Mega Evolved, which means no Rotom switchings at all one more time. Then again, I could just taunt here. Or Toxic, excuse me. Second to switch again. Like Florius, which is a cleric, I am faster than always. And if I taunt you and I like like wrote him again just to put it somewhere. I'm a little bit mad that I didn't get to default because he protected on me. Just a little bit. Heal Bell over aromatherapy, interesting. I just click Earthquake. As he goes Moltres. So this is when he had enough, man. Uh, he could very well be sub Moltres, sub Will or Willowis variant. I think that Milotic is my best play. Yep. I don't need uh, Gligar to pretty much go down at this point. In fact, if I were him, I would have gone hard Florgus right there. I would have gone hard Florgus. Now, um, he could very well try and pressure stall me. 
with this thing, but I'm gonna double out into my Rose Raid, expecting him to want to go Flurious. If he subs, it's okay. Uh, he's a sub protect set that can't touch anything in the world. All right, that's cool. I will go Rotom. We'll just go Rotom. Offensively, gets the Voltage out. Uh, Moltres should be faster than me. Basically, my game plan was if you wanted, or my thought process was if you wanted a free heal belt, the opportunity was on a passive mod like my Lodic. So that's why I'm. I'm, I'm Ba, 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 ba. I'm uh, I'm relenting. I'm using unrelenting pressure versus him. I guess you could say uh, it sounds like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. There's some pressure going on. I'm making sure that he doesn't do anything with it. Like right now, he can make a pretty solid play of going Steelix into Florgus. I'd be aggressive, but it's pretty solid. Jesus, that Pokemon takes so much. Are you sub flamethrower protect Roost? I know I've seen a set like this. Alright, I'm gonna haze on the protect. Because I am tired of him uh, attempting to pee pee stall me. You know what? Screw it. Pee pee stall me. Do it. Do it. Do it. Come on. Don't protect right here. I mean, do protect right here, but. Or roost, actually. I'm getting in my Zide Dog now and I'm clicking Thousand Arrows. I've had enough. Yeah. That's why it's also really good to uh, to change things up occasionally. Like I, I I'll only have um, seven thousand arrows now, assuming he stays in because of pressure. I have fourteen there, but if he stayed in with pressure, I have seven. Um, if he was able to pressure stall me anyway, but I think Steelix doesn't to get to a KO by this yet. <laughs> this monster mon. Oh, we can go Glygar though. Again, we are immune to block toxic. Let's see the rest. Uh. I have to fight the most passive pro. Come on, in the world, why am I fighting the most passive team that has no pressure at all? No pressure at all. He actually can't even do crap to me, man. I don't immunity. I don't even have to bother taunting him. I'm going to weaken him so he gets two kill by thousand arrows for later. Oh, are you Pukumuku? What are you doing to me, bro? Why am I getting beaten by this? I wasn't. He's clicking the wrong moves. You had to rest there, bro. Why'd you, you, you got me with your set. Why would you not rest? I don't understand. He just gave me that Pokemon for no reason. I don't understand. He, he, okay. He wasn't going to be able to beat me ever. I, I'm literally accounted him, but he would have PP stalled me. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Cool. <laughs> All right. So we're going to showcasing now Akari's uh, Rotom Wash team. I guess even though I'm trying to showcase Defog, and this is probably the tier that I'll actually be able to Defog. Uh, we have Defog, Volt Switch, Hydro Pump, Pain Split, um, Fly MZ, Moltres with Contrary Superior, as well as um, Choice Band Scizor, Dragon Dance, Heal Bell, Mega Altaria, and then Hip Out On. So hopefully here I'm able to Defog at least. Uh, that's not so bad. That's not too bad. I'll definitely be able to defog versus him. I'm gonna lead Moltres. Um, it's really good versus him. I have double defog by the way on the team if you guys didn't know. Hmm. If I lead Hippo, I'm trying to think about it. If I lead Hippo and he leads Azelf, he's gonna taunt me for sure. Like that's for sure. The good thing is, like I guess I defog on him, defogs on everything. Uh, Altaria checks Sharpedo. I'm gonna lead a pound on anyway. Uh, I want to break the Azel's Focus Sash, and hopefully with Stone Edge, I can put him in range of. Uh, I could put him in range of Bullet Punch, which he does not switch in well to. I might add. So the Defog Rotom uh, Moltres puts in a lot of work. He could have double rocks though. I'm assuming this is rock and this is rock though. Leads Azelf, so Sandstorm, even if Stone Edge misses, unfortunately does break the Sash. And I think Scissor's Bullet Punch can sweep through his team. So we're going to Stone Edge right here, expecting him to taunt. As we do manage to connect, which is great. I could go for another Stone Edge, honestly, but I'm pretty sure because he's going to rock, I'll go Scissor here. I don't think you go for a fire move there. Yeah, you always rock. You're, you're, you're lead Azelf. And now we get to go for the Bullet Punch. So go ahead and give me your Azelf, 
And uh, I guess SD Scissor come out. Nothing else is actually the biggest of threats besides Starmie. <laughs> Starmie is a huge problem. Um, seeing as how Starmie is a problem, I'll go Scissor. Can HP fire into... This is a little bit of a problem, yeah. I'll go Superior because I don't think Superior does anything in this game. It loses to every single member of his team uh, as he goes for knockoff. Um, that is just Life Orb knockoff too. So I don't mind him bullet punching me here. I didn't want to go Moltres anyway. I don't mind him taking two hits just so I can defog now up with my Rotom. Hey, we get to go for defog and it's going to be a successful defog. Do you have five of them? Five what? Rotoms? Yes. Unfortunately, he uh, crits me on the first one, but uh, I can paint split up. Oh, two. I can paint split up as he goes for quick attack, and I can actually knock him out with Volt Switch here after his own life will hit. So, um, a little bit unfortunate that I got crit and whatnot, but Rotom doing its job, thankfully. And we're going to go Scizor here now. Uh, I'm assuming he'd go Starmie. Scizor was just to stop the Starmie from coming in. Uh, I guess Mamoswine could also come in, but I'll go Hippo if anything on that. He does go Starmie. He could be HP Fire. We'll scout for HP Fire by going Rotom. As he goes for Hydro Pump. That's fair. I don't see a reason to not go out into Altaria and live one Ice Beam and then knock him out with Frustration in return. Or at least put him in range of me Bullet Punch Sweeping. Goes hard Mammal Swine, so... That's gonna be too a KO'd. Uh, I'm not faster than this either. Hippo is gonna be able to live the hit from Sharpedo, and I will be able to Bullet Punch Sweep in the end. I don't want him crashing me though, and I don't want Scissor taking the hit. I feel like Moltres is a play. Yeah. Like, I couldn't do anything about him critting me with that, unfortunately. Uh, but... Hippo eats the hit. Because he would have been able to ice shard me anyway, but uh, either way... We get to go Scizor here and bullet punch through. He should ice shard me, I think, for a little bit chip. Yeah, I would too. Smart man. Um, but we're able to get rid of Mammoth Swine. I definitely need some rocks up. Like, I I'm still very very intent on sweeping with scissors bullet punch this game it's just gonna get harder because now the uh sharpedo and the altaria get a little bit harder so um excuse me the uh, the starmie gets a lot harder too so uh i have to sack hippo here which means that i don't have sharpedo or scully beat switchings but if i went out into altaria i wouldn't be able to take the hit after anyway and unfortunately my dragon Dance altaria is one point slower than this for some reason so that hurts me a lot the fact that I'm just one point slower, I don't like that. I don't like that I'm one point slower than uh, a Starmie. I could have dragged this up versus you. I thought you were going to be lead. I think I'm going to have to uh, dodge a Hydro Pump to win this game, if anything, on, on my switching or on right now. Depending on what Sharpedo does, of course. Assuming I don't 2 KO it. I actually didn't crit Rotom. It'd be a little bit more, uh, at least, healthy. I don't know. He had a lot of, like, his team pressured my team a lot as well. And I probably didn't play this the best anyway. But I'm going to get another UU game after this anyway because I want to... Uh, this is the only tier so far I've been able to defog successfully in. <laughs> so I want to try and do it again. You go star me here, bro. I don't think Shark takes two hits. Does it really? Does Sharpedo really take two banded bullet punches? And does Altaria go down to Ice Beam after Spike? Ooh. Maybe it does. And he does have Ice Fang. Game. So, uh, we'll go ahead and look for another one because I want to try and showcase it off uh, at least a little bit more. Especially because I, I really haven't been able to defog. Like, I've been pressuring my team enough, um, but I, like I've been pressuring your teams a lot. But like in that case in particular, 
Rotom was necessary for dealing with Scizor because I, I needed to defog, right? Which is why I went Superior first because if I was able to defog, potentially, if, if basically if he SD'd up, Superior might live the hit. Um, and I can defog away getting in uh, Moltres. That way Rotom does stay healthy for Starmie as well as... Uh, for Starmie as well as uh, the... The Melosaurin, but we got another game. So Pear is pretty good in this. Pear is really good in this. Monetric isn't the biggest issue. I like Hippo a lot as a lead because he has like one Pokemon which threatens me. Maybe two. He let off with it, but it's, it's it's still not the biggest threat. Like I go hard Altaria always here. I just Mega Evolve and I deal with him. Surprise he goes for sub because if I'm Hyper Voice, this is actually bad for him. Like maybe he knows I'm not. Maybe he knows my set. Because this wins in the late game. We'll go Moltres now because I feel like you would try and sub again. But I can U-turn versus you. And I'm pretty sure 212 attack U-turn will break your sub. Nice. I don't see you breaking through Altaria, man. But I'm just gonna go for Frustration. I really don't see you breaking through Altaria. All right, yeah, Scalopede. So if you're forced to go Scalopede and take a hit, that's even better for me. Um, I mean, Hippo's relatively fair. Uh, though Hippo does deal with Superior and whatnot. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping this is a more offensive Scalopede. All I gotta do is get up rocks though, and then Scizor's Bullet Punch can sweep through my opponent's team, because Scizor is really, really good. <laughs> it's amazing how good Scizor is. Uh, I can see him doubling now. Would you double to Superior? That'd be interesting. Azu would be a little bit scary too. This could be Hazards. So I, I mean, I'd defog if anything, but like Bullet Punch, two KOs, Bullet Punch, two KOs, two KOs, two KOs. Uh, Scizor, I mean, Gliscor, excuse me, can take a hit, but thankfully I do have Rotom to deal with that. And Superior is just. Looking that much better now that his Scullipede is uh, taking a bit as well. I wonder if he's going to expect this double. Just Swords Dances. I do need the Pokemon for Manetric, and I'm assuming he's just going to go for a Z-move if he has it, but I'd much rather just get out my rocks. Is it Aqua Tail? They run Hydro Vortex down here too? Is Hippo that common that you run Hydro Vortex? So I get no rocks up this game, but like, where's your Bullet Punch switching? <laughs> Manetric has a mega evolve. That boy's gonna take way too much. Plus sandstorm damage. Uh, though of course I did lose my ground type. So I mean some good and bads about this. I mean like I get a Scullipede and I lose uh, a ground type for uh, Manetric, which is obviously bad. Uh, but he doesn't pressure Manetric a lot besides Azumarill uh, because it's a really 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 bulky spread. Why Gliscor? Just to get up rocks? I mean, I'll go Moltres and just drop a, a Fly MZ. Yeah, I'll, I'll defog later on uh, on Ozzy, if anything, but we're going to click Supersonic Sky Strike now here and hopefully claim one. Assuming he's not max, but def. He goes Manetric and B range of Bullet Punch. There you go. Moltres coming through right there. Uh. I don't know if the crit mattered, I don't know the Gligar spread, EVs, and all that stuff, but I am definitely glad to get rid of it. Again, Altaria is looking a lot better. Manetric is smart to come out. Do I even need this? I mean, it's useful as a sack. No, I don't think I do. Truthfully, and if he Volt switches, then he lets Lottie take the hit. He might even HP guys predicting Altaria, but he shouldn't. Yes, good. Smart man. So a few things I could do here. I could defog, but that boosts superior. Or I can just go Altaria and just roost up. Uh, because I do take an HP Ice, and I'll take a second HP Ice. And I'm Fizz Def too. I just realized that. I'm really Fizz Def Altaria. Yep, I'll take this for sure. I'm going to give it... 
I'm sure the uh, the Eevee spread everything for something, but I'm gonna give it one more point because I, I want to be faster than Starmie at plus one. Uh, as long as I'm not being too KO'd by this, I'm fine. Yeah, good. So now I'm at full. Perfect. So Ozzy can come out if it wants to. I can go out into my Rotom and Defog. If he belly jumps up, I should be faster. If he belly jumps up, actually, he's giving me Ozzy, which is what I need. Thing is, he's also I'm also giving Superior a potential switch in right here. Which is why Volt Switching might actually be better for me. <laughs> I want to defuck so badly, but I don't want to give Superior the boost. Volt Switching is my best interest. I can't give Superior a boost, at least not right now. So if he goes Lottie, I'm going to regret this play. I'm going to do it. Alright, cool. Well, I do not mind that. Go ahead and give me some health. I think this is Belly Drum too. So I will gladly take some health from you. I am glad that I went for that as well. Uh, we're putting Azu in range of plus one frustration. So, again, that's going to be my way of winning this game. I don't mind my Scizor taking an HP fire as well just to break the sub to ensure that Altaria can set up. I guess I shouldn't have assumed that. that was definitely not banned because it only did 43 and I'm fizzed up. Like, it's been a while since I had to remember calcs and things. Uh, Psychic doesn't knock out Altaria. Trick, Healing Wish, Dragonium doesn't make much. Shattered Psyche would be the biggest problem, uh, but nice. Nice, I get some damage off. I'll take it. Dragon Pulse doesn't knock you out from Superior at that point, so I'm just going to Bullet Punch here. We'll allow the Manetric come in. Now, any damage on Manetric means that I don't have to do it later. Uh, again, it is Belly Drum Altaria, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure anyway. Uh, excuse me, it's Belly Drum Azu. What the hell am I saying? We'll go Rotom out on his Flamethrower, Volt Switch, whatever he wants to go for. Again, that damage is going to be crucial for Altaria in the late game. And he actually goes for Overheat, so that means I get to start boosting. That means I actually get to start boosting, so great. Superior is inside. If he even stays in overheat again, predicting me the leaf storm, like that's I mean, like obviously I'm going for leaf storm. That's a poor play though. Lottie is two at KO. I take a volt switch, and I'm getting back two turns of leftovers recovery too. Ooh. Of course. Of course I miss on the superior on the switch. And basically, I'd be able to knock him out with this plus uh hidden power fire. Good, 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 good. Give me some justice. Give me another speed tie, too. I'd appreciate the speed tie. Like, now he has an extra turn of leftovers. On four. On four. Like, if all I had to do was win one speed tie after, and I'd be at full HP. Like, guaranteed. Minetra comes out. I have to go Altaria here. Can't risk him overheating. Um... And I just gotta click frustration immediately. Yep. I'm not going to bother, uh, what's it called? I'm not gonna bother Dragon Dancing up because he should go Azu first, I think, over Lottie. Yeah, he actually goes Lottie. Oh. So he was potentially gonna give me two Dragon Dances there. Well, teach their own. Azu comes in now. We gotta go Scizor here. Just click Bullet Punch. As long as Atari is alive, it's good. He actually belly jumps up immediately too, so great. Uh, because now I knock him out with bullet punch. And I also knock him out of frustration. And superior is out of range at 72%. So not sure why he I forgot to use my item. Oh, Z belly jump. And I am not faster, but thankfully, Superior does live one hit at this percentage. Yep. And we land our leaf storm finally. Okay. That's all I needed to do there. He knocks me out with HP Ice, but as long as Manetric doesn't crit me, I get back up I get back up to full. Um, I just click Frustration twice and I'm good. So as long as he doesn't crit me, we're good. Let's go. Don't crit me. Let me get back up to full. Let me get back up to full. So I can 2 KO you. That's all I want. 
I'm skipping turns by the way so we can just do this, but let me just unsure that I'm at full HP because I Nice, 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 nice. Alright, so now we just frustration twice and win. Assuming I don't get crit on this next turn. Assuming I don't get crit on this next turn. Nice. Good game. Okay. And this is all possible because Rotom defaulted away them rocks. Uh, if Rotom didn't, Superior would have been in a range of the plus six Aqua Jet. Hey, okay. So I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with leaving it there. Well, anyway, thank you for watching the uh, Defog Rotom Showcase. Uh, I know I didn't get to Defog as many times as I wanted to, but it is good. It is just a nice thing to have on Rotom, especially when your team needs it. Uh, especially like in NU versus Sticky Webs and whatnot. Pretty cool because I would have been able to defog freely had he not just gone hard shuckle. I had no reason not to click sub zero slammer. But of course, if you did enjoy, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, check out the friendship. Like I said, only two days left to pick them up, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, friends.